first tonight, the now former fire chief of Missouri Valley faces criminal charges. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. Johnny Walker is charged with interfering with official acts and providing false information. But it is critical to note he is not accused of actually setting the fires. KTV News Watch is Dave Roberts live with our big story. The charges confuse and concern people in Missouri Valley because the people in power who know what's going on won't tell anyone. And now, with two unsolved, suspicious fires and no answers, arresting the fire chief is the least of their worries. On fire, just the What's here. worse than a suspicious fire right yeah. next door? How about knowing there could be another one? Had they caught my house on fire, or they do it somewhere else and catch somebody's house on fire and somebody gets hurt, that's what worries me the most. Firefighters stopped the suspicious fire at this vacant house on March 7th, just before it spread to Rachel Chapman's home. It's being connected to another mysterious burn across town back on October 9th. Now, the Iowa State Fire Marshal is on the case. On Monday, the department found enough reason for the police to arrest Missouri Valley Fire Chief Johnny Walker. He's accused of lying to investigators and interfering with the investigation. Is Mr. Walker here? We just want to get his side of the story. Get off my property or I'll call the police. All right, we'll leave your property, ma'am. Walker started as chief in 2011. He won Firefighter of the Year two years earlier. The city says Walker resigned after getting arrested Monday, an arrest that disturbs Chapman and does little to comfort her family. To think that he'd be lying or messing with anything for any reason is a little disturbing. No one will tell us what Walker is accused of doing to bring on the charges. Again, he's not accused of starting the fires. Both charges of interference and giving false information are simple misdemeanors. If convicted, there's a slim chance he'll get any jail time, but more likely a fine. Rob Brady, back to you. Thanks, Dave.